welcome to another beginner's riffs lesson. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to play the main riff from Come As You Are by Nirvana. So this riff is all on open strings, first fret and second fret. First fret is going to be your first finger, second fret is going to be your second finger. There's going to be some parts where you leave your second finger on whilst you play other notes. And that's just basically so that we move our fingers less. So we start off with two open strings, open 6th string, played twice. Staying on the 6th string we play 1st fret, and then we play 2nd fret on the 6th string. Now I'm trying to stay right on the tip of my finger there because I'm going to leave it there whilst I play other notes. So, so far we played open 6th string twice, played 1st fret on the 6th string, and then 2nd fret on the 6th string, and then I've left my 2nd finger on there. Then we play open 5th string, 2nd fret on the 6th string again, but I don't have to move my finger because it's already on there. And then open 5th string again, and then 2nd fret on the 6th string again two more times, and I still don't have to move my finger because it's still there. So, so far that was... And I definitely recommend leaving your second finger on there. On the record it sounds like that's what he's doing because you can hear that note still ringing out when he plays the other notes. Uh, if you want to you can also leave your first finger on because uh, it won't affect the sound of the other notes and it means that it's ready to play that first fret again when we come back to it. So we go open sixth string, open sixth string again, first fret, second fret, I'm just going to leave both those fingers there, open fifth string, 2nd fret on the 6th string, don't need to move my fingers, open 5th string, 2nd fret on the 6th string two more times, don't need to move anything, and then if I lift my 2nd finger off I can play 1st fret on the 6th string, and then open 6th string, so that was... Last note there was open 6th string, so I've taken both my fingers off again there. The last part, I'm going to put my 2nd finger on 2nd fret on the 5th string, and I'm going to leave it there for the last 4 notes. So I play 2nd fret on the 5th string, open 6th string, open 6th string again, 2nd fret on the 5th string. So all together, the last 4 notes were 2nd fret on the 5th string, leave your finger on, Open 6th string, open 6th string again, 2nd fret on the 5th string. I'm going to show you the picking now as well. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. play it round in a loop, you miss off the first note after the first time you play it. So instead of after the first time you play it, instead of playing two open strings at the beginning, we just play one. So all together, if I play it twice in a row for you. So we've got the riff written down in tab here. Uh, for those of you that don't already read tab, we've got um, six strings. Each string is represented by a line on here, so these six lines represent your strings. Uh, this is first string, that's your thinnest string. That's your sixth string, that's your thickest string. So this is all on the thicker strings, you can see that. Uh, all the notes are on the thickest string and the next thickest string, so sixth string and fifth string. The riff goes like this, uh, when we play it in a loop, uh, after the first time round we miss off the first note, so we go like this. So on the second time through, in fact on every time through after that, we miss off this first note. 
So I'll show you how to play it. We start off on the open sixth string, play that note twice, boom, boom, and then we go on to first fret on the sixth string, second fret on the sixth string, open fifth string, second fret on the fifth string again, open fifth string, and then we go back to the sixth string. These next four notes are all on the sixth string. Second fret on the sixth string, second fret on the sixth string again, first fret on the sixth string, open sixth string, second fret on the fifth string, open sixth string, open sixth string again, and then second fret on the fifth string. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, as always, I recommend you start off by practicing the riff really slowly, focusing on making each note sound really clear. So instead of trying to speed up too soon, just make sure you're happy with the sound of every single note. Most of the time, if one of your notes doesn't sound quite right, it'll be because of one of a few things. It could be that you're not pressing down on the string hard enough. It could be that you need to get your finger closer to the fret. So if I play over here, it might not sound so good. But as I get closer to the fret, the note starts to sound clearer. Uh, sometimes it might be that one of your fingers is touching more than one string. So if I've got my first finger on um, second fret on the sixth string and I try and play the fifth string, it might sound like that. And that basically means that my first finger is touching the fifth string. So I need to make sure each finger stays on its tip. So let me just say that one more time for you. Practice the riff very slowly. Make sure you're happy with the sound of each note. Keep your fingers near the frets, press down as hard as you need to, and make sure each finger is only touching one string at a time. And most importantly, listen to the riff over and over again before you practice it. Mm -hmm.